June 22nd, I forget at, I forget the time. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 3. Um, Nick? Yeah. Ugh, stop it. You know Von Kama's daughter, who's only, like, is only 18? Just like me? Um, yeah. Why? I was just thinking about how strong she is. I mean, she's been in Germany all this time all by herself, and she's so grown up. Yeah, I'm sure she felt a lot of pressure from her father's reputation. And then you look at me, and then you look at me, and, well... Back a little. And well... I'm just the master, but I'm still just a little girl. And on top of that, I'm the supposed to suspect in a murder trial. <laughs> um, but I think you're really strong too, Mara. <laughs> For all you've gone through. Good morning! The TV looked just like you're doing well today. I skipped it. Hey, morning, Harley. You'll be safe today, Mr. Gmeyer. Huh? What do you mean? My mother is coming today to show her support. Y yeah, th that's right, Harley. Few pearls. Yes, Mr. Nick? Hmm. Um, do you think you could do me a big favor? Could you channel Mia today, too? Huh? I was sort of hoping to sit in the audience today and watch. Please, it's very important to me. I don't feel confident without her help. Mr. Nick, that's enough. You can't show weakness in front of the person that you love. But Pearly, not this again. Please, please, can you do this for us, girls? Um, alright, I'll do it. I'll do it for Mystic Maya's sake. See you later, then. I'll leave you two to your lo alone time. Phew. <laughs> Thank goodness. Nick? This way pearls won't this way pearls won't be able to see today's trial. What, what do you mean? What's going on? June twenty second, ten AM, district court, courtroom number two. Max. Yeah, finally we're in court again. I love being in court. It's the best part. Court is now in session for the trial of my affair. The defense is ready or not. Let's start already. Mr. Phoenix Wright, I look forward to tonight's news with great joy. The image of your defeated face will transmit be transmitted all over the world. All over the world, huh? Sounds like you may cry to answer yourself, Phoenix. Don't be foolish, you foolish fool wearing the foolishly foolish clothes. The famous one is me. I'm the prodigy who has never lost a case since becoming a prosecutor five years ago. Naturally, the world's eyes are on me as I conduct my first trial in this country. Uh, huh. That's nice, Miss Valkyrie. Hmm. <laughs> Glad to see you're in such a good spirits today, Miss Fay. Uh, it's true what they say. Women really are scary when they fight. <laughs> it's not. Now then, a very interesting theory was presented during yesterday's session. That the defendant could have left the channeling chamber, correct? Yes. And this key is proof of that. This key, the only one to the channeling chamber, was not where it should have been. Your Honor, I would like to say one thing before we begin. But, alright, let's hear it. The prosecution has determined that from the time of the murder to the time of the arrest, the defendant did indeed leave the room at one point. What? But, Miss Von Karma, then how do you explain this picture? Are you saying then that the person in the picture is not the defendant? I never said that it that wasn't the defendant. Then what is the meaning of this? 
all I am saying is that after killing the victim, that my after saying is that my fate after killing the victim exited the room, and I believe it was when she dropped this key. Can you substantiate? <laughs> Work claim. Isn't that what I'm here for? The prosecution would like to call the defendant's aunt, Morgan Fay, to the stand. Just as I expected. Aunt Morgan. Poor Mia, she really seems torn by this. Fitness, name and occupation. My name is Morgan Fay, and I am a spirit medium in the matter of speaking. I'm sorry, but what did you mean in the matter of speaking? Scrap. Oh! I don't think anyone really cares. Now then, after the murder took place, you kept watch over the defendant, correct? Yes, that is correct. And for the spirit severing technique on the stigma is on. Spirit severing technique? A technique used to remove a spirit from a body and send it back to the other world. That is. Yes, that is. That is? Hmm. You, be quiet. Now, witness. Something happened while you were performing this technique, correct? Yes, that is correct. What in the world could have? Mystic Maya, she escaped from the room. What? And here we come to the heart of our matter. Maya Faye, while in possessed state, managed to escape from the channeling chamber. Smack, smack, smack. Order, order, order! Miss Faye, please testify to the court what happened during that time. Your Honor, I will try my best. I think someone just upped the ant on this trial. Miles escape. After we heard gunshots. After we heard gunshots, the two broke the door open and entered the chamber. I requested that Mr. Wright and the other lady please call back the police. A pistol was hanging from Mr. Maya's hands, and she was in a daze. Then, quite suddenly, she thrust me away from herself and escaped from the room. With great strength, she hit me in the face of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. That's... That's bull turn. I'm afraid I have no knowledge of where she went after that. So not true. Why have you hidden this until now? I... I did not wish to cause more trouble for Mystic Maya. However, I must correct falsities when they arise. That's right. She is simply correcting a falsity, Mr. Phoenix, right? Why is she making a point to make a stab... take a stab at me? Never mind. Okay, so, um, the camera is kind of not behaving. I get what it wants to. What's going on? Zoom in, zoom out. Ice Phoenix glowing. <sighs> Smack. Mr. Wright, your cross examination, please. My aunt is very smart and sly person. It's going to be hard for us to crack find a crack in her testimony. Maya's escape. Hold it. Hold it. Just now, he said those two. Who are the people referring to? I was referring to that foreign lady and yourself, good stuff. Um, Lada's not a foreigner, despite how she talks. Oh, is that so? I'm sorry. I said we cannot understand her atrocious English. Not to mention she looked awful. I can I can already see the heart line gearing up for a riot. <laughs> <coughs> oh that's good. In any case, I have already sent the repair bill to your office, mister. Right, what? Oh, uh, thanks.
what you will do it after this. Um, you probably don't know. Okay. Um, what did you do after that, Miss Faye? I requested Mr. Ryan be able to please contact the police. Is it really necessary that to have two people do something so simple as call the police? If there was a possibility of escape, then one of us should have stayed behind. Hmm, yes, that is a very good point. At that time, I myself was a little confused. On top of which, there was another. Another what, then? Oh, it's nothing. No need to concern yourself. I want to hear the end of the sentence. Question further. There was another reason you both wanted this out of the room, wasn't there? Hmm. You must testify. Why did you chase us out of the room? I simply did not wish for there to be more victims. Ugh. The lives of both the good sir and the camera woman may be in danger, is what I thought to myself. <clears throat> Great. Snap. Well, that was very noble of you, Miss Faye. This is bad. When people have good impression of her, we've had one of us. Looks like she caught us napping. That's my aunt for you. Are you satisfied now, Mr. White? Miss Faye, please continue. Crap. Crap. During our investigation, you stated that you struck the defendant on the head, and this strike caused my to lose consciousness. Do you stand by the statement? I'm afraid I don't. The statement I gave to you was a lie. Huh? But, but why would you lie about something like that? It is very painful for me to say this, however. The witness was lying to cover for the defendant. She was covering for my? Question third. So you were covering for the defendant? Well, yes. It was only later that I was informed of what I occurred. That the renegade mystic Mai had done something very unexpected. S something unexpected? What? Pray tell. Did she... Hmm. This witness didn't and couldn't have seen what happened. If you want to know what this unexpected thing was... There is always the later. Yes, very well. Ugh. Why does it sound like there's a rock in the bottom pit of my stomach? Now, witness, continue with what happened. Then, quite suddenly, she thrust me away from her and escaped from the room. Was it really that you her to escape from you? I'm ashamed to admit such a thing, however, yes. But you are physically larger and stronger than the defendant. There's no way she could have escaped you so easily. Objection! Uh, I called it. Have you forgotten already, Mr. Phoenix Wright? Remember that at the time, the defendant was not physically my affair. <clears throat> hmm, growing old is such a mysterious thing. Trust me, I know, firsthand. Yeah, he's like 60 or something. Basically, Miss Dick Maya's body was still at the nurse she had called. But if she had run away, wouldn't you have given chase right away? Well, yes, I would have, however. With great strength, she hit me in the base of my neck, and I fainted for a short while. You fainted? Uh, I hit dizzy and then collapsed on the floor. How long were you unconscious? I'm not sure, maybe about ten minutes. Hmm, the defendant was certainly went somewhere at that time. Happy? When it's all over in the point for us. Well, we're sadly gonna have to end exactly right here. Because the timer just went off, so next time with Phoenix Wright, we'll continue to question Morgan Fay. But until then, I will see you guys later.